Mm. Yep. I know it's on. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I'll sit here and think, how do I want to start this vlog? I had to jump out of the office because of the way that this day has started. <sighs> wow, man. Wow. I want to give you a quick update to help our community within Corvette, but to help so many of my customers that I can't get back to every 30 seconds. Here's the latest production distribution update for you regarding 2023 Corvette. This stuff changes constantly, you guys. That's why I'm thankful to have this platform to connect with you and just, you know, let you know what's going on. Um, anything being built, and we talked about this before, anything being built after April 11th will now get the rear park assist. For those of you that haven't gotten it, you got a credit on your window sticker. That's going to be retrofitted from Chevrolet for free. Probably fourth quarter when that happens on a Tech Tuesday segment with myself and Chuck, we'll, we'll let you know what you got to do, what's involved. And for those of you that bought cars from us and you're out of state, what you got to do with your local leadership to have that retrofitted. Okay, so that's that's coming soon right here on our main channel. Now, just last week, I finished the first order cycle for 2023 Corvette and the Carbon Flash High Wing was not available now we're being told in the next order cycle that starts next week for 2023, it is available. Okay, some good news. Uh, this is ongoing, though. And again, I told you we've been protected with Corvette on the chip issue for so long to the point now where it, everybody's being affected. Uh, chip shortage has affected the magnetic ride control availability. So what magnetic ride control systems they can build, it will be on Z51 cars only. So 0% availability of magnetic ride control on a non-Z51. And not all Z51s will get mag ride. It will be whatever is available. And we let you know in real time when those cycles come up uh, upon us. And uh, here's something that we mentioned in our April Fool's video. Hey, remember, it was April Fool's. For those of you that are oversensitive, April it's a joke. Relax. <laughs> so many people need to relax. Anyways, at the beginning of that video on Friday, I talked about the ZZ3 engine appearance package. Right now, because it wasn't listed in the constraints, right now they're telling us it's simply not available for ordering for the 2023 model year just yet. So stay tuned for that. Started retail production. I had seen this on a report. I didn't mention it because I was afraid it was going to change again. Uh, this stuff is changing constantly, but that is our world. That is our environment right now. And I think most of you, not all, most of you understand that. So retail production for 23 Corvette now starts May 16th. And the 70th anniversary package is readily available. Keep in mind, I'll talk to people and they'll say, yeah, I want one of those limited edition 70th anniversary cars. I'm like, oh, hang on. It's a special edition. Not a limited edition. Limited edition will be controlled in limited quantities. 70th anniversary is a special edition. What a great opportunity to acknowledge the heritage 70 years of Corvette on those two special colors. That is a special edition. It will be available and probably will be the most produced car or close to it for 2023. All right, you guys, so that's readily available. And I actually had somebody order one in our very first order cycle. And I did get a um, a small glimpse of quantities for next week's order cycle. And um, they're, <laughs> they're, they're nothing to talk about. They are dismal. It's important to know that, and let me just say this real quick, uh, about Z06. We got acknowledgement from Chevrolet about Z06, and it said ordering currently is scheduled for late spring, in parentheses, it says tentative. So anticipate that to change. So nothing is locked in yet for Z06. We don't even have freaking pricing yet. So relax. And that's, let me hear more in the relax message. And it's exactly why we do a lot of these videos. When I talk about these ordering constraints, therefore immediate and the very next order cycle that we're talking about, this stuff affects those orders. Once your order's placed, this stuff does not affect you. And so often, every time we do an update like this, I get blown up from my customers, other customers that have their orders at 3,000 status or higher. Well, I thought I got Z51. Now you're saying Z51's not available. I thought I got Magnetic Ride. You're saying it's not available? I thought I got this and it's not available. It's just a... 
it doesn't affect you, okay? Furthermore, asking people to please relax because if I could share with you guys in real time, in every time, and what goes on in my day, you would go, wow, man, how do you even, how do you even do these videos? My head would explode. I'm close to that right now. The people, I haven't heard anything, haven't heard anything. I tell every single customer the same time when we get to the wonderful point that we're releasing your order, you have a real order, it's getting built, we send it production control, it goes to 3000 status. I watch the reports every day and I tell you, when I hear an update, basically waiting for the build week assignment, I will let you know. There's no, I, I, some people have this perception there's a daily update. No, we don't have an update that uh, John's coming over from the uh, uh, this station and he forgot his glasses. He went back to this station to get his glasses. This guy's got the piece to your power seat and he's walking over to put it on. We don't, we don't have those kind of updates. Once it goes to 3000 status, I have every single day, again, my customers and others, haven't heard from my dealer, haven't heard anything from my dealer, haven't heard anything, haven't heard anything, haven't heard anything, because there's nothing to tell. When I hear something, I will let you know when the build week is. You guys need to understand, I don't build the freaking car. I don't control the chip issue and I don't control the allocations, okay? I want to share what we, what is going on, what I can do, and the experiences we can share. Beyond that, I don't care anymore. It's ridiculous, the badgering and the people just so nasty because they're demanding an update. I haven't heard anything. What's going on? Nothing. You have an accepted order. And when I know the build week, I'd be happy to share that with you. What is, what is going on? Oh my gosh, what is going on? There's so much more. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. There's so much more I want to say, and I and I just can't. I, 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 please, for those people that are just so impatient, don't ruin it for everybody. Don't ruin it for me, and don't ruin it for yourself. But there's a lot of good stuff coming up for this car. There's a lot of things we don't control. Understand that, please. I'm rambling now, I apologize. Uh, I don't like leaving the office at the end of the day and feel like I was in a Mike Tyson fight. I love you guys. I love the people that make this car so special and the people that get it. I thank you for your support. I thank you for your understanding and I'm looking so forward to the opportunity of working with you. That's it. I, I, I'm not going to spew anything else that I probably said more than I should. <laughs> so beat, man. I think I've aged 10 years in the last two Thank you again for watching. I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Check out Corvette Shorts and more, please. Um, just some fun stuff we're going to share there. And a couple of great uploads. Like when I do these, I, I got to tell you this real quick. And there's one I filmed today was picking up a client for delivery. And he was in the car and I was bringing him back to the store. It's hard for me to decide, you know, when, when do I want to share that? When do I want to air that? Because I know you guys have busy lives too, most of you do. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I want to make sure that you don't miss that. So when do I air that? This Sunday is going to be a, um, a shorter but a very interesting coffee with Conti. Donovan from Windsor comes over as the borders open up into the Detroit area, runs into a C8 GM manufacturer car, it's a Z06, and freaking Taj is driving it, man. <laughs> and Taj pulls into the same parking lot with the guy, and they have a 20 minute conversation. Then he sends me a picture, he's standing next to the Z06, and he goes, Taj took that picture of me by the car. Taj opens up the hand, this is amazing. Great feedback from him and some of the same sentiments that we're talking about, market conditions and things like that, Taj shares with him. We share that with you this Sunday, this channel. Please come back and join us.